What's going on YouTube? This is Victor bringing you a quick little build update from Vix Classic Customs. On the 1957 Chevy Bel Air that we were working on, um, that I posted pictures of uh, on Google Plus earlier uh, this year, I think it was a month or two, maybe three months ago, I don't remember. Um, we decided that we're going to go ahead and discard that uh, kit, the passenger side uh fin area is not molded correctly and that's how it came from out of the box so i was going to go ahead and try to build this kit and just try to make the best out of it for with what i had but wasn't happy so um decided to throw it away or not throw it away but use the kit as a parts kit and move on to something else um, and since I've been here lately in a real bad build funk, what I decided to do was to build a 1950 Chevy pickup that is a, um, a what you call it, curbside. A lot of people call those curbside. No engine, no transmission, just, you know, body interior and chassis and wheels. Um, so I'm building a 1950 Chevy pickup. And so far I've got it the cab painted and I've got it uh, cleared and you know color uh, the color I went with is a 19 or I'm sorry 2014 Corvette Stingray night race blue which is also called Berlin blue um, I am um, I have posted pictures on Google Plus so if you want to check those out uh, go to, to go to my Google Plus um, also we're working on a truck for a customer. Oh, there it is. A 99 Chevy Silverado. This is going to be one of those slammed big wheels type trucks. And the gentleman that uh, wants me to paint it, he gave me all free will. So I've been really wanting to do some skulls for him on the lower half of the um body uh, below the trim so what I am asking is if anybody knows if there is some uh, stencils that have small scale uh, skulls that I can use to airbrush some skulls uh, on the bottom of that uh, door you know the door or the mold area whatever on both sides of the truck I got a color scheme and I got some ideas in my head that I really want to do that I want to want to implement on it but I don't know if there's a stencil small enough that'll you know it'll look right if I spray some skulls on there so if you guys can give me some or point me in the right direction to get some skulls uh, stencils that I can use on this body on the 124 scale body that it won't look out of proportion uh, it's too bad uh, let me know send me put me a comment down, down below um, let's see what else uh, I don't remember if I told you guys that I got a new paint booth I got an autograph 1530 paint booth I've, I've got it set up and I actually painted the 1950 Chevy pickup in that booth and um, it works really 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 great um, I know I, I I've seen the booths for three hundred dollars online or more and let me tell you guys it is worth the money I didn't pay the three hundred dollars I got my booth off of Craigslist but some of you guys may be lucky and find it on Craigslist and it may be a good idea for you guys to look if you guys are interested in buying a booth if you don't have one or if you have your entry level you know uh, TPC global $85 booth and you want to move out to something a little bit bigger a little bit more better that autograph 1530 is pretty nice uh, let me tell you guys so uh, something for you guys to consider if you guys are moving you know looking to get something a little bit better I've got it, I've used it, and it works really great. Um, but anyhow, that's all I got for you guys tonight. Uh, I know I haven't really posted uh, many, many videos here uh, lately. 
but uh, I'm trying. I'm really trying to get the time, and I'm really trying to make the effort to post more pictures and more post more videos of crap that I do. Um, but you know, sometimes you know, having children and a job and and things outside of you know the normal everyday thing that you used to do, like modeling um have been pushed aside my car one to one and Paula has been pushed to the side a lot of things have been pushed to the side just to make sure that you know my kids and my life and everybody is happy and has a roof over their heads basically so anyways guys i will make try to make a better effort to post more videos um but you can always check on my google plus uh, I do upload videos. I mean, I'm I'm sorry, not videos, but I do upload pictures of what I am working on currently, or what I have worked on, or what I had on my bench at that moment. So I do post up there uh, more frequently than I would a video. So if you want to check that out, check it out on Google Plus. Uh, my Google Plus account is linked to my YouTube account, so uh, I think there is a link in, uh, on my homepage. So check it out. If not, I'll see if I can try to put the link here. But anyways, guys, um, as usual, keep what you're doing. Um, hopefully you guys are uh, <coughs> nice and dandy and well and uh, pushing through. And um, oh, one last thing. Mr. F Mr. H Child Models, uh, I have not heard from you or your build that we have been doing together. Um, I am pretty much through with mine, so um, let's see yours, buddy. Come on, man. I'm calling you out. Anyways, guys, this is the conclusion to this video. I'm not going to keep on boring you guys. It's already seven minutes. So you guys have a good night. Post some comments. Let me know about that stencil from Skulls. And uh, you guys have yourself a good night.